So this is my uh, design that I'm currently doing. This is why I haven't been posting much because I've been working on stuff. Sometimes forget to record, but it's fine. This is part one. Welcome back, guys. Stay tuned for other parts such as 3D printing this. But we're going to talk about this model that I built right here. This is actually currently an RC car with a lifting hood using a hinges right there, right on the engine bay with custom suspensions with ball joint working ball joints all that work i can't show that because the software won't allow me has knuckles bearings for them front bumper and little engine bay which is actually pretty cool it's one of the newer models of the engine bay the newest model because i have photos of my other one and it was just so bulky that i had to remodel it and this is what the body's going to look like very nice, I would say, in my opinion. Very supercar-like. Futuristics. We have mounts for the LEDs right here. A little vent. More LEDs right here. They will be just popping in through here. Custom rims for it. And as we go over to the driver's side, that's where the servo will be mounted. This little servo hook. And we have... The gears, I don't have them shown right now, but there's also a drive shaft right in the middle that do work, but I need to redesign that to get it rolling because my gear ratio is currently too high for the motor. The roof is all in one piece. The door will be able to open and close like this, as shown, which is very cool. Now, if we pop the hood, the motor is going to go right there. I might de design a fan system like in my LMP1 car, which is actually currently on Colt's 3D right now. Free to download that. Steering that actually works with ball joints. This right here is uh, the only part that isn't 3D printed on my RC car because it's very hard to 3D print that. And then we make our way to the rear. We have the fender, the fenders, the LED holes, for the rear LEDs, of course. A custom spoiler, but you could always remove that for a nice flush look of it. For a nice flush. Which also looks very nice. Custom rims. Right now, it's a locked differential. Because if we take a look into it, it's just one bar. Hide all the components. It is just like one thing. And then there's uh, dog bones to go to the wheels and stuff. That works. I did test those. We got the battery mount right here. The roof will be mounting on these points. Same with the rear bumper. It's going to be mounting right here. Roof gets mounted right there. Same for up here. Right in, that, right in the middle. I think it's going to be relying on the front bumper. But the way that the roof is going to be is it should just have enough clearance for the hood to lift up. Same for over here. There's just enough clearance for the wheels not to get touched. Now, if there is clipping, I will be fixing it. But it looks pretty darn good. Maybe I'll clean some of this up. Get those done. But it has custom springs, all designed by me. This was a pretty rough project to learn all this stuff, but it works. We have universal joints right here that actually do work as I tested before. I tested and completely broke other things. So it's like a back and forth process of 3D printing, but this car is just turning gray and gray. Any ideas, comments, please leave them down below because this is only step one of designing this. But right now, there's no front fenders. I think I'll toss those in with the doors. But this door is getting a complete redesign. Because it, the way that it works, I can't detail it. Like how I detailed the roof a little bit. If anybody has any ideas or comments to put onto this, that would be amazing. Because I'm always open for anything. And other points is um, mounting. The mounting is a little complicated, but like we mount the middle to the rear right here, 
here and there. And then for the differential, that's the hard part. It needs like a twist to get in there, but it's definitely usable. And then you add the drive shaft, which can be a little complicated, but this is a front motor, rear wheel drive. First RC car I designed that actually works that I got rolling before, which is awesome. But I'm gonna get it 3D printed with all these new parts very soon. And once I get my 3D printer up, I will do that. But this thing is like an awesome and awesome. But my next design will probably be rear, rear, or maybe an all wheel drive system. You guys leave it down below what you guys want a front motor mid motor rear motor all wheel front wheel or rear wheel drive i'm open to anything other than if we do front wheel drive i am not doing a mid to rear wheel because that just seems over complicated i'll just stick it all in one unit but it won't be straight like this it has to go horizontal but in part two i will probably be messing with the little gearbox here i might just remove this whole battery mount and stick it somewhere else probably up in the rear higher up lower maybe figure something out so the gear ratio is a little bit what is it lower i would say like five to one something like that but i need more teeth because my motors are constantly burning out my gears which absolutely stink. Don't mind these little floating orb things, the model messed up, but I do have the files for them. But it moves very smoothly. I gotta figure out other things, but I'll get these rims printed, front bumper printed, engine bay printed. I actually did print out the rear bumper and this fender, I think. That came out good. This fender failed, and I didn't print out anything of the frames or doors. So I don't know how those are going to drive, but I'm liking the way it is. I'll see if I could get these 3D printed on the Ender 3 too. If not, then don't come at me because I know I like making things for the Ender 3 too. So you guys could print it on anything because the Ender 3 is mostly what everybody uses but I actually did upgrade in my last video to my Elegoo Neptune 4 Max that is currently giving me problems with the uh, adhesion but that's about it everything else is doing pretty good here we got the front motor mounts or the front bumper sorry from bumper mounts from the bottom using four mil and at the top using four to three these are four those are threes and then the hinge using threes i have to move the mounting point for the roof here because it actually did interfere with the hoods stuff like that but i do have some renders of the last body panels in the front before i completely redesigned everything so I'll put those up on the screen right now. As you can see, it's very boxy, I would say. Very long in the front. So what I did was I just completely tore it down and started from scratch, which sometimes you just gotta do. And I bit the bullet and I did it. But I feel like with some comments, ideas, anything, please feel free to leave them down below. And I can't wait to get this thing printed and built. It's going to be more of a show car. I want it rolling first before I get it anything motorized because I just enjoy designing the bodies. And if you have any ideas of the body to design, please leave them down below. I'm open to anything, but that's about it. Hope you guys have a good new year and Christmas by the time I'm recording it slightly after Christmas, right before new year's. So hopefully I could get the video out right before, but sorry, I haven't been posting for so long, but hopefully this will help you change it. But if we take a look into detail, the upper and lower control arm actually have working ball joints, which is 
really cool in my opinion. I'll show that in action later because I've been working on this type of project forever now. I think a month or two. And I have my LMP1 car body on Colts but waiting for the video because I just got to get tires onto it and get that all ready to go. So that's about it. Hope you guys are having a good new year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed 2023 because mine was a little bit questionable, but starting the YouTube channel since then, I'm in love with it. Thank you guys for all your support this year, and I'll <laughs> see you guys next year.